Hello everyone! Today you are going to learn how to write paragraphs and the outline for an essay. Before we start with some presentation, I would like you to consider the following points. First, what are the different parts of a paragraph? Second, what techniques do you normally have in mind when writing a paragraph? And third, what is an outline? What is a paragraph? A paragraph is the basic unit of a composition. A paragraph is composed by different related sentences that develop one or two main ideas. In academic writing, a paragraph moves the general statement to a specific information with explanations and illustrations. Usually, a paragraph has more than three sentences and it has between 50 and 80 words. In general terms, when you're going to develop a new topic, you need to consider a new paragraph that needs to be indented. Let's study now the structure of a paragraph. A paragraph should have two main parts, a topic sentence that introduces the paragraph and supporting sentences. Also, you may like to consider to include a concluding sentence, but this will be optional. Let's focus now on the topic sentence. A topic sentence has two main parts. The topic, which names the subject or main idea of the paragraph, and the controlling idea, which limits the topic to one or two specific aspects. Let's look at the following example. Travelling abroad involves both money and time to spend. In this topic sentence, we can observe how the topic is travelling abroad and the limiting idea is related to money and time to spend. So, a topic sentence is a complete sentence with subject, verb and usually a complement. The topic sentence is therefore the most important sentence in the paragraph. It is usually the first sentence in the paragraph and it is a great guide to connect the writer and the reader. Let's study now the second part of a paragraph, supporting sentences. Supporting sentences are basic to develop, clarify and explain the topic sentence by giving reasons, facts, quotations, examples and statistics. You can use four different techniques to write supporting sentences. So you can provide facts, examples, physical descriptions or personal experience. After having studied the topic and the supporting sentences, let's focus on the concluding sentence. Remember that the concluding sentence is not always necessary, but it helps to guide the reader. There are different techniques for concluding sentences that you may like to consider. For example, you may like to offer a solution, or to predict a situation, or to summarize the main points, or for example, you may want to state a conclusion.
Once the paragraph has been studied, let's concentrate on the outline of an essay. The outline of an essay is the structure, skeleton or x-ray of a text. In a narrative essay, the outline is a reflection on the background of the story and the most prominent word that you're going to consider will be the verb. However, in a descriptive essay, you may prefer to use adjectives. The outline of a descriptive essay is a dedicated set of paragraphs that describe the characteristics of a person, a place or an object. Remember that it's very important that you do some brainstorming, then you prepare your outline and finally you start organizing your composition. We are now concluding this presentation and you should know what the structure of a paragraph is, how to write good topic and supporting sentences, and the importance of writing the outline. As always, I would like to remind you the importance of doing the activities presented on Prometeo to develop your independent learning skills. Thank you very much once again for your attention and have a great day. Universidad de Las Palmas de Gran Canaria, Vicerrectorado de Calidad e Innovación Educativa.